So, uh, once again, here is another uh, fun fanfiction idea. And <laughs> isn't it funny how the brain, how the human brain works? Like, I literally thought of this like, hey, I just did a Miraculous Ladybug uh, fanfiction, but what if I did one in the style of Last Ronin? What if I did, like, a story like the, last, the Ninja Turtle story, The Last Ronin? So, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do this as a cool little story and essentially um, make this, like, a fun, like, hey, wouldn't this be kind of neat to do this? in the vein in the same vein because why not um so yeah so this story takes place in an alternate future thir an alternate future 30 years from now and basically um what has happened is that paris has become a police state and it's it's being ruled by hawk moth or rather a hawk moth um gabriel agrest has long since shed this mortal coil shall we say and that's going to tie into the story itself so in this story um a new hawk moth has taken over and basically what has happened um is that what has happened is that he's taken a, this per this hawk moth has has taken over uh paris has sealed it off from the rest of the world and more or less using them or harvest the power of the miraculous and given them to various people like he's managed to harvest their energy and give them to separate people into like different soldiers kind of like how lord dracon did to use the power coins to give to his army in um the power ranger comics so it's kind of like we're dealing with a very lord dracon kind of character and how uh, there was a ma there was this huge massacre of the miraculous heroes like they literally all got slaughtered except for one one managed to get away but they lo uh, but in doing so they swore they'd never put on the miraculous again until like they just decided you know what i let all my friends die i'm going to go and f i'm going to go face hawk moth and deal with them personally like i'm going to go face them in a head-on battle and god help anyone get in my way so the ba so this person uh goes on this one person war with the ladybug miraculous but it's not marinette marinette actually died in the final war between uh hawk moth and the miraculous she basically yeah she was killed and this person took over and who is the the new ladybug? Guys, you probably if you've been on this channel, you know who I'm probably going. It's either going to be one or two people. You already know who like which of these two people I talk the most up. So you should know me by now. As it, I'm pretty sure like in the comments by now, someone's already saying, "Oh, I already know it's going to be this person." And to an extent, you're right. <laughs> that person is Chloe. So Chloe is our fight is the last miraculous holder. Everyone else died. She actually like she actually admits because she meets a older Miss Mendeleev as part of this resistance is like she admits to Mendeleev. I literally let I ran like I in that final battle between Hawk Moth and and Ladybug. I just ran because we were being overwhelmed by all these akumatized people like we were being just overrun and i freaked out and ran so now i'm uh, uh, i came back like i freaked out and ran like i just ripped off the the queen bee miraculous chucked it and just fled because i i freaked out but i came i i got came back to my senses and found um and tiki found me and i had the the ladybug miraculous she, and Tiki's not happy with Chloe at all. Like, you literally abandoned everybody. Like, the only reason I'm choosing you is because there's literally no one else. You left You left Pollen. You left your friends. You left your family. I don't want to be your... Like, I don't want you to be Ladybug. But you are, lit you are literally all we have left. So put it on. <laughs> and... Chloe basically was like, I let everyone down. Like, I basically just left everyone to die. 
and they haunt me to this day. And yeah, it's kind of like with Michelangelo in Last Ronin, where Chloe keeps seeing, like, the ghosts of all the other miraculous heroes. Like, she's basically like, yeah, I let, I let them all die. Like, they all, you left us to die, you're not, you know, who are you to be Ladybug? You were a coward in the war. Like, you don't deserve this. So, yeah, who is the, who is our Hawkmoth? Like, who is our Hawkmoth? Because it's not Gabriel. Gabriel's long since died. Um, yeah, he died, Ladybug and him died in their final battle. So who is our, who is the new Hawkmoth in this timeline? Basically, in this new timeline, um, it's Adrian. Yeah, it's Adrian who's the new Hawk Moth. What happened, essentially, was that after Hawk Moth and Ladybug died, that's when he found out, Oh my god, <laughs> the love of my life is literally one of my best friends. Oh, and my father's the supervillain. That kind of broke his brain. So, much like his father before him, Adrian more or less went full Mr. Freeze and tried to like save Marinette's body in like a cryo tube like he more or less like was so out of it he more or less was like fuck you mom and killed her kicked through her out of the stasis tube and put marinette in it and is now like took on his father's mantle as hawk moth and now runs uh, took over paris to more or less like i'm going to protect paris i'm going to be like the ultimate protector of paris and i'm going to shield it from the outside world and once i find the ladybug miraculous i'm going to combine it with the black with the uh, cat no with cat noir's power and i'm going to make the wish that my father never could i'm going to bring my uh, my love back yeah <laughs> adrian's gone full uh, like adrian's gone bye bye you gone <laughs> um so there is that. So uh, so Marinette, actually, Marinette is gone. He doesn't realize that. He's just keeping her body on ice at this point. And Chloe is on a suicide mission to stop him. Like yeah, Chloe is on this uh, suicide mission to stop Adrian once and for all. Her best friend. Like she's just like I don't want. Why is my life suck? I could have say I could have stopped all of this, but I panicked and now the whole world is paying for it. So, yeah. Among other things, like, you have, um... Uh, Adrian has, like, conscripted Max into making, like, new robots similar to Markov, but are, like, Ed-209 versions of him to police the streets. He has, um, also, like, augmented, like, the, um, Sabrina's dad to be, like, Roger Cop, but more, like, cybernetic, like, terror. Like, kind of like Kane from Robocop 2. Um... You also have, like, um, um, oh, who, uh, like, you have, um, um, Chloe's sister, Zoe, as, like, his, as Adrian's Natalie. Like, yeah, you have his, her version of Natalie, because she was, like, I basically was, like, it, it, Zoe's whole thing was, yeah, when you ditched Chloe, you le you left me. So I I basically took a page out of your book and went full survival of the fittest. Fuck you. So by the end of it all, uh, Zo uh, Chloe has to fight her way through a grass tower. That is the I it got the Eiffel Tower got retrofitted into a whole like bat fortress. It got torn down and turned into a tower of towering fortress. And Chloe fights her way through the tower until she runs into Adrian. And during the fight, the two, like, she smashes the case. Adrian goes full nuts and just, like, he he's just about, like, I have this nuclear missile I've been hiding in Paris. I'll keep it everyone safe, even in death. And Chloe's like, oh, shit. And she's like, I failed you. I failed Marinette. I failed myself. I failed the city. But I'm going to change that. And she tackles Adrian out of the tower, and the two fall to their deaths. And Chloe basically do sacrifices herself to protect the city one last time and redeem herself. So in other words, this was depressing as shit. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is pretty much um, Ladybug, the last, uh, the last miraculous. 
so there you go guys uh you guys tell me in the comments below what did you all think of it um did you guys like it hate it comment below let me know and once again hope you all enjoyed this if you haven't already hit the link below head on over to my patreon other than that i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in the multiverse